first thing you have to do is actually to clean your mind, you know. And how you can do that? Because this is the question. How can I clean and clear my mind? To clear or to clean your mind, the most important step is actually to meditate. Uh, to do that, most people, you know, take meditation as very complex things and to quiet this mind, it's almost impossible. Because we all know that uh, even if we are on our own, we have a chat going on in our mind and we barely knew or know how to deal with it. More often we don't know, so we just keep going, chatting inside our head with our thinking mind that uh, doesn't really stop. And uh, it is meant to be that way, but it is not meant for us to get frustrated with it in that way. So to meditate about this idea of clearing and cleaning your mind is it's very simple. You just sit yourself somewhere quiet and you concentrate on your breathing, you know, and uh, it might, first few minutes it might start to be uncomfortable for you, but um, you keep following your breathing and keep in your mind that there is a mind who is watching your mind somehow. It's like you have to be in that state where you don't interfere in anything. You have to be as a witness who is watching his thoughts or the thoughts that is going inside the mind but he does not interfere in them. In that way you create somehow a peaceful state within you and when you achieve this state of peacefulness your ideas start to appear very clear and more often it's, uh, they are funny when you are really detached from them they look just funny they are not real they are just concepts you have gathered uh, from your experience and you based on this on this idea you created the reality which you live in which is nothing bad about it it's uh, a real stimulation for us as humans that's fine but uh, remember that we want to go beyond this if we want to paint because if you are not free and you want to paint it's uh, a hell of frustration so you have to heal yourself with this uh, uh, process or uh, activity which is the main goal for this so I am not going to teach you how actually you can do meditation state by state or uh, how this process is uh, working because it's not my my area of expertise but uh, you have to make your own search about it and you will find that meditation can really help you get in yourself ready for the painting and uh, because what we want is not to paint and uh, be in, in a state where we are confused we want to paint and be completely guided by, by our intuition by our inner being by something else beyond or behind us that's uh, we want to let go of control that's what we want this is where the joy and happiness lies in the painting process so to achieve this we have to clean the mind and to clean the mind or to clear the mind we have to do meditation and uh, to do meditation we have to be aware of our thoughts and to be aware of our thoughts we need to somehow detach from our ego or identity as we think we are in the first place and when we uh, get to this this state of being aware of what's going on inside us we are ready now to be completely absorbed by the inspiration so now the idea about the inspiration 
What is inspiration in the first place? Many people think uh, some inspiration is like a creature that comes somewhere in, from the universe and visit us where we don't expect or when we expect and give us some idea and then boom we create something. If you think about it, I mean, and being really real about what is inspiration within you, you will find that this moment of inspiration is actually the moment of peacefulness inside of you. Which means this inspiration is always there. It's we who choose to be or not to be. In other words, think about inspiration as a vibration that exists everywhere, within us, outside of us, anyway, it's like air, it's like it is in the air, it's in a universal law maybe, let's call it that way. And people choose to tune in or to tune out from the inspiration. And that's why we crossed all this and we spoke about the meditation and we spoke about the silence and clearing of the mind, cleaning of the mind. Because the whole point of this is to get you into the now. And this now, not this now of chronological time, but this now of really being aware of, of the vibration of the universe. Yeah, so the whole idea or the whole thing we want to be in is to be in that now that allow us to really tune into inspiration. When you are, you are tuned into inspiration, what's happening is you actually get automatically motivated. You don't know yet what you are motivated about, but there is some kind of urge that's coming from your stomach, this desire to create, this desire to, to do a, an active uh, activity or an action. This is where actually you can uh, fall into abstract things. And instead, for example, you have your canvas in front of you instead of jumping and try to put figures or whatever ideas, don't do this. The best way is to think about let this in, this desire to build to to boil inside of you and enjoy it enjoy this moment enjoy this phase because it's very important when you enjoy it more and let it be the, the, you know endless shape form abstract things comes into your mind and this is your say, subconscious become uh, somehow more active and it's like, for me, it's like you are aware of your subconscious. And your subconscious is not really concept, it's not ideas, it's more of vibration. You shouldn't really quickly take ideas and form them and put them into forms yet when you are in this phase. So instead, actually, just let this whole chaos go on and enjoy it. Now, when you let this boil a little bit, it becomes more logical somehow. Without even control it or without even thinking to put it in certain logic or form, it will show you. And this is where is the importance of intuition. Because now, this moment when you stand and you go to your canvas, I am sure you will be guided by your intuition. And your intuition will tell you exactly what you need to paint on this, what you want and you don't know that you want it. That's the importance of intuition and it will guide you to put your first strokes that could be abstract, that could be an abstract in the beginning. You know, in traditional painting you have one canvas and you, if you miss it, you miss it, you know. So, but don't be afraid of that, you know. When you are in this state, you just go and follow your intuition and you put for, you put lines, strokes. Just do that, like put whatever you feel and never detach from your feeling because this is very important. The intuition is always based on feeling. So whatever you feel, your intuition, put it in form. You know, it guides you to put these things in form. And this comes with a joy and kind of fulfillment. And don't rush it. Just keep doing it, keep doing it.
and I'm sure at that stage you will really experience when amazing thing is like out of space time. And this is the beauty of the painting. Because this moment when you start to put lines and you start really to enjoy it without even thinking about that you're enjoying it, it's, you are completely there in aware of what you are doing with your controlled mind, with your rational mind. You are out of the rationality. You are, the, you are painting without painting, if I could put it in this world. So, this is what every artist wants actually to achieve. This is the, the main goal of the painting, you know. You can even make concept from this, because this is, take it as like a research, take it as enjoyment. And because of this process that, that you will do within this uh, experience, it can give you concepts. At the end, it, it might not give you the same concept on the one single painting on canvas, but it will give you concept for a future canvas you want to paint or future film you want to create, whatever. It doesn't really matter, you can frame it within your limitation or you, within your capability of what you want to achieve in your creative life. So. You can either turn it into business or to, into idea or you can just keep on enjoying it as it is. But this is the this is the way that should go. Today world we are lucky somehow to to get access to some good knowledge. I mean there is a lot of knowledge out there that you can consider to take a So I hope you enjoyed, until next time with the new 